Okay, here's an update on uh, what we're doing. <coughs> I've put the uh, all the uh, bracing in <coughs> for underneath the expanded metal, and the mounts for the uh, uh, wheel chocks are up there. The trailer's upside down, and I'm working on the fenders right now. And what I've done is these brackets here I'm making to cut that off, and it gets bolted in there and bolted on. And uh, over here, I've already finished everything up. And now it's seriously stronger, all bolted together, you know, just like that. Now, the whole point is that inevitably somebody sits on your fenders and, you know, you sure don't want them to be bent down and all of that. So, that's why we do this. All right. Also, I took all the bolts out holding everything together and uh, welded everything back together. I actually welded it and then took the bolts out. Duh. Anyways, um, that way it's much, much more beefy trailer and much stronger. and doesn't flex so much. It flexed terrible before, so we took that problem out. All right, then uh, I got we, my daughter and I flipped it over and set it up on the uh, um, work stands. And I threw the uh, expanded metal down and I got it uh, about 80% welded up already. And uh, it's welded all through the field. Everywhere there's a point of contact, it's welded, you know, so that uh, it doesn't warp out too much on us. And uh, I think it's going to be real nice. Yep, I just think so. Anyway, tomorrow, hopefully, I can get it finished and uh, prep it for paint. And uh, that's that.